no reason to spend too much time on this case. You could see it's a histologic section of some type of muscle. Uh, and because you can see what looked like might be some trabeculae or base of a papillary muscle, and the fact that the nuclei are centrally located rather square and have abundant intercalated discs. You already know this is a cardiac muscle. In addition, let's see if I could find some striations for you. Uh, I don't see too many good ones myself, but that's you don't always see them. Notice that uh, in areas like this, the muscle looks pretty good. Often, one feature of cardiac muscle hypertrophy due to any cause, of which hypertension is the most common, is that you'll get a little squaring off or what they call the boxcar nucleus. Some of these fibers may be a little thicker than they should be. Not only do they look thicker in terms of size, but you can see some squaring off or box carring of the nuclei. So is that what we're just going to say? That this is just a little bit of fiber hypertrophy, which probably most older people have anyway? Or do you want to look around more? Here's a nice hypertrophic fiber. But don't get lost in this because you'd be missing this. This is an area of inflammation. It doesn't look like the kind of inflammation you would get in an infarct because there's no real necrosis of the fibers and it's more of a little pinpoint microscopic focus rather than a zonal thing like you might expect with an infarct. This is a myocarditis. This is an area of myocarditis. You could see two things. It's primarily uh, mononucleated cells or chronic inflammation, and it's nonspecific. Technically, it could be caused by anything that causes myocarditis. In this case, however, we know the patient has had toxoplasmosis, and you should remember that of all the things that toxo could do, you know, that little... Um, uh, par that little unicellular uh, parasite, which about a third of the world's population has had, and which can wreak havoc on immunocompromised patients, and has a complex life cycle, which I won't go into, perhaps involving cats, pigs, and perhaps a whole zoo of other animals at one time or another. Toxoplasmosis can cause myocarditis. Here's a great example of it, but notice it's a nonspecific inflammation, and you're not going to find anything in here which I could say, well, that's exactly what a toxoplasmosis uh, organism looks like. It isn't. This is just a nonspecific tox uh, myocarditis toxoplasmosis by history. Thank you very much.